Hi, thank you for joining me. I'm very excited to have you here. I'm Dr. Hema, a GP in UK and the founder of csasmartgroup.com where CSA proudly stands for Consultation Skills Academy. We help doctors and medical students not only pass their exams with flying colors, but to completely rock the consultation with confidence, get more marks, wow their patients, and at the end of the day, to enjoy doing it. This is based on my very own experience. I gathered over years of working as a doctor in England and India, reading lots of books, attending many courses on communication and consultation skills, and teaching students for the last three years. In my flagship online training program called Says a smart success, I teach my students in detail with simple easy steps to shine during their consultations with confidence and ease. In today's video, I would like to talk about the basics of genetic counseling. Counseling is available to anyone thinking about undergoing any form of genetic testing. It provides the information needed for an informed decision. This should include the implications of testing positive, informing relatives, the progression of a specific disease and its treatments. Facts are presented in a non-directive manner and counseling should be in a relaxed, non-time constrained atmosphere. All language should be easy to follow. The patient or couple's understanding must be assessed and any misconceptions should be tackled. Common situations for GPs include a patient may be having a disease which a member of the family has or the risk of a couple having a baby with a particular disorder. In these cases, facts surrounding illness inheritance need explaining. Make sure unnecessary fears are dispelled, advise on lifestyle changes given and there is the proper patient support. When relatives or children have recognizable inherited symptoms, certain ethnic groups are involved or there is a family history of cancer at an early age, specialists like clinical geneticists may be required. Advice should be given for antenatal screening where there is a family history of problems and consideration can be given to alternative conception. Discussions should be non-biased, risk assessed and carefully considered and an explanation of probability should sometimes be examined. Remember, Frequencies are better understood than percentages. Influencing factors for patients include risk of transmission, severity, the availability of prenatal diagnosis, and a person's personal convictions. Counseling is with or supervised by an appropriately trained professional whose judgment must never be compromised. Consent should be after an appreciation of all factors, post-test counseling, should be readily available and predictive tests for severe illnesses must include pre- and post-test advice. Assist children or others according to their mental capability and test adult onset conditions only when the treatment is administered in childhood. Result confidentiality should be considered plus dis disclosure to third parties that is employers, the right to know or not to know, uncertainties and reliable background information. A written summary should be offered as appropriate. After test results, focus should start on the emotional impact on all involved. Is follow-up contact with a counseling unit, a psychologist, social worker or support organization preferable? Implications for the individual and follow-up plans are important, whilst written material should always be on hand. A patient should be referred to a genetic center if there is a condition in the family they have a strong family history of cancer, there is a known or possible genetic condition, or he or she wants to know more about the risk, diagnosis, or options. Have a look at your local protocol and guidelines. If a pregnant couple have an abnormal test result, they too should be referred, along with parents of a child with possible genetic condition difficulties to see if a diagnosis is possible. That's all for today. I will see you soon in another training video. Till then, if you have enjoyed this video, click the like button below. Share this video with your friends as I know we practice together with our friends all the time. Now, I would like to invite you to sign up for my free video series called Rock Your Consultation. I have created these videos to help you to rock your consultation, get more marks, wow your patients and make every examiner admire you. All you need to do is to enter your name and address 
in the box below. I will send them straight away. You are an amazing doctor. Let me help you to rock your consultations with confidence and ease. Let's do it.